Well, the Anime Expo kicked off this morning. Look at all these folks. As expected, there was a massive crowd at the convention center in downtown LA. The event regularly draws 100,000 people a day and runs through Monday. So be aware of traffic issues in the area until then. And sorry to say, if you were hoping to attend last minute, all four days are completely sold out. Okay, but lucky for you, the Anime Expo is not the only thing happening in the Southland this weekend. Joining us again with the list of the top events around town this weekend is Michael Giuliano, editor at Time Out Los Angeles. Welcome, Michael. Thanks for having me. You know, a lot of folks are thinking fireworks, 4th of July weekend. Yeah, almost everything I'm going to talk about today <laughs> has fireworks and uh -huh. also, thankfully, not sold out. Okay, perfect. <laughs> so to start, um, the Hollywood Bowl every 4th mm -hmm. of July does an amazing fireworks uh, spectacular. Uh -huh. This year, it's two comedy legends, Steve oh. Martin and Martin Short, oh. uh, doing an evening of music and comedy with backing from the L.A. Phil and then, of course, an amazing fireworks finale. That sounds um, like and fun. And that's from Saturday through Monday. Uh, I think Monday has the best availability if you okay. want to get those cheap seats. Okay. It's kind of the beauty of the Hollywood Bowl. For 30 yeah. bucks, you can bring beer and wine and a picnic yeah. and have an unforgettable fourth. I like that. Okay. What else you got? So, again, more fireworks. Mm -hmm. uh, Cinespia also capping off all three of their screenings this weekend with fireworks. Okay. So, from Saturday through Monday, that is uh, The Fast and the Furious, Purple mm -hmm. Rain, and Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Um, kind of a similar vibe, right? Like, yeah. great picnic setting, bring yeah. your own food or snacks. If you don't, um, you know, they do have, like, uh, barbecue stuff for sale. Mm -hmm. um, and it's also just, like, a really fun evening. They always have a really awesome uh, photo booth set up. So, uh -huh. Uh -huh. uh, you know, for Purple Rain, get I, your get your best prince outfit. I was going to say, <laughs> I cannot see Purple Rain too many times. So, you know, sign me up. <laughs> um, yeah, so then the next thing I have to talk about mm -hmm. is the only thing that doesn't include fireworks. Okay. But I think it's still a ton of fun, mm -hmm. and it's totally free. Um, okay. Free Shakespeare is returning to Griffith Park. So oh, okay. if you've never been, this is uh, the independent Shakespeare company puts this on uh, for mm -hmm. a couple months each summer. And okay. it's right by the old zoo. And they put on two productions. Okay. Uh, it starts off actually with a contemporary of the Bard. So this oh. is uh, Francis Beaumont's The Night of the Burning Pestle. Okay. Um, but it's just a great evening to yeah. watch free theater. Yeah. Um, you do need a reservation, okay. but otherwise it's not going to cost you a dime. Okay, so we should still be able to make it into that. Yes. Okay, sounds great. Yeah, and then um, finally, speaking of other great free uh -huh. things and fireworks, mm -hmm. uh, the 4th of July block party is back in Grand Park. Um, the last few years they've done it virtually, so it's very exciting that they're back in person. This is a great event because of its location. Mm -hmm. I mean. You know, there's shows around town that are bigger, but you get to see fireworks in the middle of downtown with tons of music, dancing, food trucks. There's a metro stop right there, so you don't have to worry about traffic. The fireworks go off at around 9. Um, they okay. shoot them off from the roof of the Dorothy Chandler Pavilion at the Music Center. Oh, okay. And if you want more fireworks after that, you're in the middle of downtown. So <laughs> you're, you're in walking distance from a bunch of great rooftop bars. Yes. So you'll see all of the fireworks shows going off everywhere else. Yeah, fun, fun weekend, and the weather should be nice as well. Absolutely. All right, Michael, thank you so much. Thank you. And, of course, you can find more information about these events and Michael Giuliano and Time Out Los Angeles just by going to our website, kcal9.com, and click Scene on TV.